Initially, we say at the Mera, your weather specialist. Reporting live here in MIS Weather Center, by Kauaian City, Bulacan. The low pressure area that we are monitoring since Sunday developed into a tropical depression at 8 p.m. on Tuesday has been named Kaloy. Following some isolated rains and thunderstorms, here are the updates as well as forecast on Baguio Kaloy. As of 3 a.m. today, Wednesday, June 29, 2022, the center of tropical depression Kaloy was estimated based on all available data at 395 kilometers, gustiness of up to 55 kilometers per hour, and central pressure of 1,000 hectopascal. It is moving westward slowly. Strong winds extend outwards up to 100 kilometers from the center. Here are what to expect on Tropical Depression, Kaloy. In the next 24 hours, the monsoon trough and the southwest monsoon or habagat enhanced by Tropical Depression, Kaloy, will bring monsoon rains over the western section of Luzon and Visayas. No tropical cyclone wind signal is in effect. The southwest monsoon enhanced by this tropical depression will bring occasionally gusty conditions reaching strong breeze to near gale in strength over extreme northern Luzon and western sections of Luzon and Visayas. These conditions are more likely in coastal and mountainous or upland localities of this area. Tropical depression and the enhanced southwest monsoon will bring moderate to rough seas over the seaboards of northern Luzon and the western seaboards of central and southern Luzon. These conditions may be risky for those using small sea crafts. Mariners are advised to take precautionary measures when venturing out to sea and if possible, Avoid navigating in this condition. On the forecast track, tropical depression Kaloy is forecast to minder aimlessly today then move generally north-northwestward or northwestward tomorrow. Westward on Friday, then turn northwestward for the remainder of the forecast period towards southern China. Tropical depression Kaloy may exceed the Philippine area of responsibility within 24 hours. However, due to the present nature of its circulation, the track and intensity forecast for this tropical depression may still change in the succeeding bulletins. The large overall circulation and disorganized structure of Kaloy suggest a slow phase of intensification in the near term. It is forecast to remain a tropical depression in the next 48 hours, then slightly intensify and reach tropical storm category by Friday afternoon. Considering these developments, the public and disaster risk, the reduction and management offices concerned, are advised to take all necessary measures to protect life and property. Persons living in areas identified to be highly or very highly susceptible to these hazards are advised to follow evacuation and other instructions from local officials. There is possible formation of low pressure area northeast of the zone in the next 24 to 48 hours. In the next three days, Southwest monsoon will prevail over the western section of northern and central Luzon. Over Metro Manila, southwest monsoon will prevail in the next two days bringing cloudy skies with scattered rain shower and thunderstorms. Now, let us see what the weather is like today here in Mekawayan City, Bulacan.
We will experience light rain showers during morning, afternoon, and evening. The maximum temperature in the city today is 39 degrees Celsius, while the minimum temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The wind will move southward with a speed of 10 km per hour. The cloud cover is 57% and the relative humidity is 78%. Meanwhile, here are our 3 days weather forecast in the city. It will be cloudy Thursday tomorrow, June 30 during inauguration of our President BBM with cloud cover of 71% and relative humidity of 69%. But we may also experience couple of showers and thunderstorms heaviest early in the morning. While there is a patchy rain possible forecast on Friday, July 1, since we are expecting the tropical depression Kaloy will be over the West Philippine Sea. On Saturday, July 2, we will expect light rain showers in the city with relative humidity of 84% and cloud cover of 86%. The average temperature in our 3-day forecast will range from 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. The sun will rise today at 5.30 a.m. and the sun will set at 6.29 p.m. The astronomical phenomena that will be seen tonight is new moon or also called as dark moon. It occurs when the moon is between earth and the sun, and the side of the moon facing the earth receives no direct sunlight. It is lit only by dim sunlight reflected from earth. Being prepared can help you and your family stay connected and protected during a typhoon. Here are our Five precautionary measures that we should do. Listen to weather updates to monitor any development related to the storm. Keep watch for warnings and plans regarding evacuation in your community. Check your house's conditions and make necessary repairs. Prepare a survival kit such as canned goods, biscuits, water, and first aid kit. Make sure to keep your survival kit in an area where you can easily get in case of emergency. Evacuate immediately once asked by the authorities to do so. Here is the update of the water level of dams and high tide prediction here in Bulacan for your reference. It is important to stay calm and positive during the situation. Remember, there is a rainbow always after the rain. And if you want to see a rainbow, then you have to weather the storm. And that was the latest weather forecast for today. Again, I'm Alicia Luisa Yatamera reporting for MIS Weather News. Thank you for watching and have a great day.